having a good time. And let's take a look at our fresh take from Williamsport. It is brought to you by Subway. Two remaining teams face elimination. Panama and Washington have to win to stay alive. Japan is already through to the international championship game. It'll be on Saturday, 1 o'clock Eastern on ABC. And Georgia and Texas, they are one win from the U.S. championship game that will be Saturday at 4 on ABC. So Japan awaits what goes on in this game. And Jun Sung is going to come on to do the pitching. So we're getting a pitching change in the second inning. The thing about Chinese Taipei is they have never had a pitcher ineligible. They continue to keep them under 20 pitches. And they keep their whole staff available. And they don't let you get a read on any of their pitchers. So in the second inning, it'll be a new pitcher out there. Klo Jun Sang doing the pitching and Gonzalez is at the plate. Gonzalez, big armed uh, shortstop we've seen make some nice plays in the field and he's gone three for six at the plate with a home run and an RBI for the 12 year old. Javier Garcia got the RBI double in the first inning to give Panama the lead. Panama wins. They force another game tomorrow against Chinese Taipei an elimination game. Chinese Taipei wins. They go on to the international championship game against Japan. That'll be swung on and missed. You see the Chinese Taipei pitching staff, the ones that have appeared here in the Little League World Series. They've all been absolutely amazing. The young man that's on the mound right now is that third name down there, Ho Hong Sang. You see that he's done very, very well. He hasn't even given up a hit. And that's going to be swung on and missed. Jorge Perez at the plate. 13-year-old. And Perez from the left-hander will swing through the fastball. One for six so far with an RBI. Little League World Series play for him. These two teams uh, through World Series history have only met twice previously and uh, split those two games. 0-2 delivery is going to be fouled off at the plate. 2004, the Panamanian team defeated Chinese Taipei. And in 88, the Chinese Taipei team came back with a 5-4 win against Panama. So despite the fact they've been here a number of times, they've not matched up very often. Pitch is going to be outside. And a one ball, two strike count. Well, the team from Curacao is not here for the first time in a long time. I think they had been here almost nine years straight. So they had taken a lot of those reps against Chinese Taipei that Panama could have been if they were here. One, two. Curacao not here for the first time since the region they play in was defined as a region. They'd always been the regional winner. But not this year. As Panama... Now Panama's got an opportunity to move on to the international championship game, but to do that, they are going to have to pick up a couple of wins against Chinese Taipei. Here's the 2-2 delivery. Ball. And that one just missed inside. Three ball, two strike count. Well, before coming to the ballpark today, I thought that Panama had no chance. There was just no way. They have played too well, too disciplined, too much offense, too much pitching. I'll tell you what, as soon as Irving cranked oh. his arm up, <laughs> things yeah. changed. Yeah, with the number one pitcher not having pitched yet, it's kind of a sudden entrance. Here's a look at our road to the championship brought to you by Michelin. For Panama, representing the Latin America region, their regional pool play 3-0, beating Colombia in the final. Then they lost to Canada 4-2 before defeating Saudi Arabia and Canada again. The double elimination used for the first time this year has created these rematches, which we have uh, never had before at the Little League level. Never had, but thoroughly are enjoying. And the kids are absolutely loving it because there's nothing worse than having that bad taste in your mouth, but able to work back towards someone that beat you and get another shot at it. Jose Lopez, a couple of hits, three at-bats, and three RBIs. And this is not a new format to Little League Baseball because it's used at the districts and the sectionals and the regionals. 
So this double elimination is very comfortable for the kids and for the managers. And it makes for a lot of unknown as opposed to pool play where you knew who you were going to play. You four teams, you're going to play against them and then there was a tiebreaker that was used to decide who finished first in the pool. Hey, you actually could have two losses if you had one team go 3-0 and and three teams go 1-2 and two, and then you had some convoluted kind of formulas that try and figure out who gets to move on with the 1-2 and two record. None of that anymore. Now it's decided on the field. The 0-2 pitch will be fouled off. Boy, we talked about moving up in the batter's box. Lopez almost had his front foot. They've eliminated the front chalk line pretty much. And he's just barely staying mm -hmm. staying in the batter's box. 0-2 count on him, one down, runner at first base. Panama with a one-nothing lead. And then makes it harder, of course, to get around on that fastball when you're up there. I, I don't know if I would classify him in the batter's box on that last swing. If he'd hit it into the fair, I think he's out a good six inches out of the box. Watch the stride. Yeah, his, his heel is completely even past where the chalk has been sprayed forward. <laughs> and you know the chalk didn't start there. That fastball is real tough to catch when you move that close. 0-2, runner at first. And still couldn't get the off-speed pitch. Two down. Well, the reason you move up in the box is so that the change in speed on the break ball, you get it before it breaks, or you get it a little sooner so that you're not so far out in front of it if you were in the back of the box, so it's not quite as off speed to you. The key is, if you're going to get that far up, you still got to be able to catch up to the fastball. Luis Mendoza will stand in, the left fielder, batting ninth in the lineup. Couple of strikeouts in the inning. Still a runner on at first base. Jorge Perez, who drew the walk, still over there. Luis Mendoza, sixth grader, 12 years old. 0-1 delivery to him. That'll be fouled up. One tip to pitchers when batters move that far up in the box on you, when you go to throw your little off-speed pitch, throw it lower because you can throw it low and right down the middle because they're telling you they're looking for that pitch. You give it to them, but you put it in a really hard place to hit, so now you get an easy out, probably, on one pitch. And the ball looks higher to the hitter because he's closer to you. Mendoza will take that. Luis Mendoza is looking for his first hit here in the Little League World Series. With a couple of at-bats so far. Tello at the top of the order, waiting on deck as they try and move around. Perez, who's on at first base. Bo Young Sang delivers the one-two delivery. Oh. And that will miss inside. Cliff Yagaguchi is our home plate umpire. All of them, all the umpires are volunteers here. 27 years experience out of Pearl City, Hawaii. He is a retired telephone company worker, born and raised on the uh, Island of Kauai. Swung on and missed. Throttled way back on that one. So he strikes the side out with a walk in the midst of it and a runner left on. And it remains after two. One nothing. Panama. 